All right, this is Gara 2424. I just have to go on and get this out. Lately, I noticed that uh, when they come out saying they was going to do Kaepernick for a uh, Nike deal and stuff, I was like, interesting move on Nike part. But I would have thought like, wow, this this going to be something serious. And I never thought that it would end up being where folks would actually, um, I mean, they trying to celebrate, they just do it campaign. And, you know, in my opinion, I feel like Kaepernick is to just do it. And they, it's not just him they doing for the anniversary. But, I mean, you know... He tried it, I mean, he did it, and, you know, he got burned for it, but, you know, he still did it, and he's still doing it, but the fact that they, people are starting to uh, cut off socks, um, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, we didn't get the ring, shout out to Red Emperor's Nice War, <laughs> Uh, people cutting out their socks and people uh, going to burn shoes, you know, talking about they going to burn shoes and stuff. And I'm like, are y'all serious right now? Y'all going to burn shoes? And I'm like, okay. Normally, most Nikes start at like one, about one forty, one fifty, and up, depending. And I'm like, mm -hmm. have you lost your mind? <laughs> I'm like, honestly, have you lost your mind? I'm not going to even lie. I am one of those folks. I have probably maybe, though, probably about, at one point, I probably had about seven or eight Nikes. But I actually use my shoes and wear them to death. <laughs> so, I have no problem with it. But, I, I just don't see burning a Nike shoe the weight as much as it costs. I would rather have sold my shoes off and got me some money back. <laughs> this is how I'm feeling on that. I'm like, instead of burning the shoe, I feel like I could get my money back on what I lost in the shoe and keep on. <laughs> but that's the money me. <laughs> And, of course, with my current situation, so, <laughs> at the time, but things are looking up for me, so I'm doing good, y'all, despite bitter feelings, but, I mean, I just don't get that. I mean, I understand folks are reacting to it and having, like, complete cow over Nike, but at the same time, this is another thing. Y'all don't get it. Every time y'all are posting a video about Nike burning y'all shoes, y'all are giving Nike money. Every time Nike is mentioned, they getting money. <laughs> For every $150 pair of Nikes you burn by them doing the commercials, all the publicity they getting on the news, they getting eight times that. <laughs> So, you know, I find this very funny, very funny and just showing how really serious this stuff then went. And, you know, the saddest part, everybody on Colin Kaepernick, but do you not really understand that his original, original reason he did the boycott was racial issues um 
police violence. Uh, I mean, uh, not just for blacks. I mean, Hispanics, any immigrational person that comes from a different country, anybody with a different background, general. And I mean, even, it was just basically race all over the freaking board. That was the whole point that is getting too much violence going on, too much discrimination. And I'm like, seriously, this is not 1960 anymore. They did the struggle and it was hard enough. We don't need this crap back. It's 2018. We don't need the crap back. <laughs> We really don't. We don't have time <laughs> for this. With the situation and the way things are going on. It's too much stuff going on for this crap. I mean, for this type of stuff, instead of putting our heads together on something. But back on to this Nike stuff. I, I you know, this dude lost his career, his job, everything. And, you know, for Nike to still support him, despite him, no football, I mean, none of that. No longer existing in his life. <laughs> you know, is interesting. And I think it goes with the just do it. But, um, I mean, it, I mean, y'all thinking the the protests against the flag in the military, it was never about that. <laughs> this was something totally different. Wasn't even about the military. It ain't about the flag. Everybody has their own right to how they do the flag. It's not the same for everybody. The flag means different for different people. And then you even have some people that don't respect it, but they come from other countries, different religions. And we ain't we supposed to be the melting pot? But uh this is another part that I got it on right now. This one right here, talking about his band made uh uh cut off the Nike swoosh logo and I'ma say it right now. Y'all probably gonna flame me for this. Who you? Who you as far as country goes? I'm not a big fan of country, but who are you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at this name and I'm like, who are you? What do you write? If somebody knows a song in here, I would be more than happy to look it up. But I'm like, this ain't like no Reba McIntyre, Gar Brooks, Brooks and Dunn. Uh, uh, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> yeah. This ain't like this no main pro country person to me. My idea. And you gonna cut off the logos on the socks. If you gonna cut off the logos on the socks, cut it even. <laughs> oh my God. Cut it even. So, you know, I just really don't. I see what point people are getting to. But at the same time, I would not, I would not burn a Nike shoe. Because every time y'all mentioning Nike, every time y'all talking about something on Nike, every time Nike is getting on the news, they getting paid. <laughs> y'all just add into what they do. I'm like, I'm not saying they will be some repercussions later on, but just to represent the, the just do it, I mean, it fits perfectly. And I'm like, it's not just John Kaepernick. I mean, they got Venus, uh, I mean, I mean, Serena, and I mean, they got other people on there for the 30th anniversary. It's just that y'all done focused on him. I'm like, y'all not even paying attention to the other uh, people that's on there. And I'm like, 
it's just ridiculous. But as far as burning the Nike shoe, burning Nike shoe people, <laughs> I mean, come on. You know, and people probably going to take out their stocks. You just hurting the U.S. economy. You is not doing nothing to Nike. But you just ended up adding more problems to our own economy. If you don't type of people, oh, I'm going to take my stock out on Nike. I'm going to do this, do this. I'm like... I'm going to be honest. I'm like, y'all burning the Nike shoe. I think that's pissing me off more than anything because you are offending the people who make them shoes. That's put their time in making them shoes for Nike and causing problems for the people that work for Nike. But at the same time, I'm thinking it as in terms of money. I'm like, you are freaking then lost your mind. A hundred and doggone thirty dollars plus, and you burning a doggone Nike. Like, I'm like, you must be one rich mother. Set your mouth. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. It must be nice to be you. <laughs> For real. Must be nice to be you. You can burn a Nike. I'm like, hell no, eBay. Ebay, Amazon. <laughs> even though I know Ebay, you know, I'm on the scratch of Ebay because they don't even do it no more. They didn't fuss about folks selling shoes and I understand health issues, health risks. Sell it to the right person. I promise you, they will find a way. <laughs> I hope. I hear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to get that out. I honestly just had... I mean, like, this person right here, the Jamila, he, oh, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. He just made him a business move. He making himself where he getting some money to replace the money he lost. <laughs> After getting boot from the NFL because of and y'all already know who that is because of I'm just gonna do it like that y'all fill in the blank but <laughs> I mean this is just almost as bad as the uh Bill Cosby uh Bill Cosby uh show guy that used to play the uh doctor dude at the Trader Joe's do you not realize or did they not realize that they shaming the dude ended up, he had to leave his job, quit Trader Joe's job, the job that was being flexible so he could try to attempt to get his career back on. And I'm like, do you not realize you just like seriously just ruined this dude who was comfortable? And I'm like... And I'm like, what's wrong with working a regular job like Trader Joe's? What is damn freaking wrong with it? We getting to the point now we finna go back to that. I mean, if it's, it's, it's applying the money like it's supposed to, and if the laws were gone on and passed by on the $15 an hour like it's supposed to, I mean... Come on, for real. I'm like, I'm still seeing jobs that's uh, 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 saying $7.50 an hour, $8.50 an hour. And I'm like, I mean, I don't mind. I do because, you know, it's available. Sometimes you have situations where it's available, but the fact that they just ruined that guy you know, from his comfortable job that was, you know, flexing his needs for him so he could go and uh, look out for something else. I'm losing battery power. But when did it become that kind of problem? Like, who you? What you do? <laughs> but, uh, 
Scrap, uh, that, that's a whole nother king caboodle. That's a whole nother conversation. This is strictly going to go back to, I feel like he, Kaepernick did this as far as a business move. I'm not too, I mean, I, yeah, I'm either or for it. I'm like, I have no problem with it, but I've realized that people do not remember what the original protest was about. I mean, y'all just totally forgot what the original protest was about. So, I'm like, I still give it up to Kaepernick and Nike and stuff. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Y'all know, y'all still getting y'all. And I think it's fitting for the doggone 30th anniversary. But at the same time, the burning of the Nikes, the cutting, <laughs> y'all gonna have to cut that. That's, that's ridiculous. And don't even make no sense because you not hurt my pocket that's your pocket just got hurt <laughs> all right that's how i feel on the nike slash um job shaming whatever you want to call it i throw that in there not even thinking about it but those two had just been on the news all day long it got on my nerves so Put your comments below. Say what you need to say. How you feel on it. What you think about it. I mean, for real. Just put your comments below about it. That's my point of view. Put what you want to put down there. I don't care. <laughs> I just feel like that's your money going down the drain, not mine. And every time you put out a video that you doing something to Nike, Nike getting in on how many ever shoes you done burn, they got three times that back because you burning the shoe or cutting the sock. So put your comments below. Let me holler. Hear me what you got to say. Uh, this is Gara2424. And I'm hoping to do other vids besides Summon a War and other games because, you know, I just want to try other things and see how far I can get. So, I just felt like that just really actually got on my nerves to the point. Your money, not mine. See y'all. <laughs>